Hello there YouTube, Navy Blue Suicune here back with another part of my Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Now, since the last time we've been on, um, let's see, what have we done? We beat Eterna City's gym leader Gardenia, we cleared out the Galactic Building, got a bike, we're supposed to head down south now towards Cycling Road, but I thought I'd take a quick trip to the underground. Now that we've added, uh... Magnum, the Magby, to our party. We finally have a fire type. Thinking of expanding our roster by maybe one more member before we head to Hearth Home. Let's see. Buy them in tens. Maybe be on the safe side and grab another ten. Right, you're grabbing 45 Pokeballs here. I'm gonna head to the underground. I'm gonna see if we can't try and add us a Magnemite to the team. Out of all the Sinnoh electric types that are possible to grab, Magnemite has a special, uh, I like, I dig him. He's dope. It. Alright, Magnemite are gender genderless. Anywho, let's head to the underground. Um. Play alone. Alright, here we are, back in Sinnoh's Grand Underground. Holy. Okay. Fountain Spring Cave. Let's see, I don't see any. Hmm. Just keep on it. Alright, what do we have here? Spacious Cave. I think this is one of the possible locations to find, uh, Magnemite. We have a Murkrow, two Murkrows, a Badoo, another Badoo. Um, let's head to the left. Can we exit here? Yeah. Dang, Sinnoh's Grand Underground, so expansive. Really dig it. This is probably one of the better features in the game. Grassland Cave. Alright. Probably not going to find Magnemite here. Come on. Hmm. You dude, cricket tots. Come on. What else do we have? All right, let's just keep exploring. Pachi Rizu, Zubat, Machop. Come on. Alright, Machop, Badu. Nope. Let's keep at it. Alright, that's a Psyduck. Nah. Baneri, Krikatot, Zubat. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, so we can find Magnemite in Whiteout Cave, Spacious Cave, Icy Cave, Glacial Cavern, and at the Fugo Ironworks. Hmm. I'll keep trying. Certainly want Magnemite to be the electric type on our team. It's electric steel. I could use that coverage. Swab Blue. Ah, oh, tempting, but we got Star Raider. I mean, nothing says I can't come back and catch him. Murkrows. Two of them. Oh, no. Three Murkrows, a Geodude, and a Badoo. Caught that out of the corner of my eye. Alright, Swab Blue, Geodude, Machop, Psyduck. Oh. Battle. 
Wild Machop. Snorator has this. Intimidate to make his attack go down. Level 27. Let's go for wing attack right off the bat. We have type coverage, so... We have the advantage. Vital throw. And we'll go for another wing attack. Wild Pokemon here have a few levels on us. And got that EXP. Level 24, alright. Hmm. Maybe it'd be a bad idea to put Star Raider against a Magnemite, seeing as the obvious disadvantage there. Yeah, let's use Magnum. Come on, where are you? I'm not gonna risk bumping into any of those three. They're blocking my way. Alright, that's a Geodude, a Krikatot, a Pachirizu, a Murkrow, and another, and a Machop. We'll keep at it. Spacious Cave is the closest place where it's, he's findable. It. I'm really glad about the underground, these Pokemon areas. Because if it weren't for these, certain Pokemon you'd have to wait until late, late in the game to get. Alright, Magnum, we're gonna run. Geodudes are slow, so that's not too hard. Okay, goofed that Baneri by using the... the rock. I just walked right into that one. Okay. To you, dude. I consider getting one of you later. I'm not looking for you right now, though. Don't want to expend the effort. Alright, so I'll blue, Murkrow, to you, dude. Oh, no. Well, Murkrow. If I was in the market for a different flying type right now, I would totally catch one. But our Staravia is suiting our needs for the moment. Mostly I want to grab this Magnemite because even though we have a little grass type on the team, we could always use an electric type plus further down the line when we have to face Crash or Wake, um, good to have an insurance policy. Oh, let's speak of. Here we go. We have a Magnemite. Come on, Magnum. Alright, with our shiny Eterna's Forest Badge, we should be able to keep him under control. Let's go with Ember. Alright. What for Spark? Let's throw a Pokeball. That's one. That's two. Up. Oh. Maybe we might want to switch. I don't want Magnum to take too much punishment. Oh, paralysis. Hmm. I think Floor would be a good option. Come on, Flora. Set ball capsules on these guys. Love the petal ones I got from uh, Gardenia. Alright, let's try a Grass Knot? Hmm. That does more the heavier the target is. Magnemite, well, let's try it anyways. Gyro Ball. Okay. 
let's just throw Pokeballs once more. Come on. That's one. That's two. That's three. And, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Magnemite is caught. Give Magnemite a nickname. Well, first let's add it to our party. I'll name you... I'll name you Emag. Let's check out our new capture. Alright, Emag, the Magnemite, Naive Nature. Hmm, speed goes up, special defense goes down. I can work with this for now, it has sturdy. Which means it can potentially survive one hit KOs. I like, I like what I'm seeing, okay. Alright, now that we got what we came here for, let's go back up. Yes, please. Alright, we got our fifth party member. Hello, Nurse Joy. Please fix up my my friends, including my newly acquired one. As always, much thanks. Alright, um let's see. One thing to check though before we head you head forward. Where is... Oh, there's Badoof. Habitat. Where do Badoof live near me? Next route over? Can I find one? Back here? Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. You got a bike. You can ride down Cycling Road and end up in Hearth Home City. It's a fast and fun ride. You should check it out. That That's code for you're not going to let me back on the route, are you? Up, oh, well. Okay. I want to catch a Bidoof just to have in party so that any Pokemon I catch from here on forward go to the PC and I can just manage that. You'd basically just be a placeholder for our new, for our future sixth team member. Might rotate members. Alright, so there should be... Okay. Next route over to the right. Let's put this bike to work. It's going third gear, much more easy to control. Okay, route 211. What we got? Metatite. Magnum. Don't want our, get our boy to get too strong too fast. Not at least until we beat Maylin. Well, Metatite. Come on, Magnum. Give him the blue flame seals for his uh, ball capsule. Let's run. Actually, let's dismount from the bike. Yeah, let's just run. Onita. Again, I'm so reassured that in this game, Ponita and Chimchar aren't your only fire options. Alright, so Metatite, Ponyta, I think Chingling might be in the area. You're not what I'm looking for, come on. The common spawn rates in different grassy patches are- Oh, there we are. A wild Badoof. You got this, Magnum. Just weaken her. Uh, we're gonna go with Clear Smog. Oh, just enough. Critical. No poison? Yes. Wait, Clear Smog doesn't poison. It 
fixes stat changes. Okay. Let's throw one. That's one, two, three. There we go. And we caught Badoof. Add Badoof to the party. Badoof's data will be added to the Pokedex. Badoof. Plump mouse Pokemon. Normal type. Standing on 1 foot 8 inches tall. 44.1 pounds. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It's more agile and active than it appears. Hmm. Give Badoof a nickname? Let's see, you're a female Badoof. We'll name you... Let's see, a mouse. Doof's a rodent. We'll call you... We'll name her Misha. There we go. Misha got added to the party. And great, we have a total of six Pokemon in our party. Any Pokemon we catch from now on gets sent to the PC, or we have the option to add it to the party at the time. Which works out fine for me. Let's just go heal up and we can head down the cycling road. Thank you. Finally, seeing all six Pokemon on the display and six Pokeballs in the healing machine. Seriously though, they got to have patented that he Pokemon Center healing machine technology. Hmm. Alright. So, let's see. With a full party now. Want to put Floor up front. She needs more exposure time. Emag. Misha. Alright. Let's head on down. Oh. Yep, let's set the bike. Now we have access to cycling road. Alright, Route 206. Oh, looky here. Yo, having a good time cycling? It's, it's, yeah, thanks for asking. Here we go. Challenged by cyclist Axel. Sends out a Staravia. Oh, not a good matchup. Come on, Flora. Oh, uh, actually, Intimidate. Okay. This might be a good opportunity to see what Emag can do. Come on, Flora. Emag. Growl. It's all well and good. Alright, let's use Spark. Okay, it's super effective. Double team. Okay, he's trying to make us. He's trying to avoid us. You mag, one more. Yes. So far, our newest party member is starting to deliver. And we defeated Axel. Hey, not bad, you. Oh, thank you. Alright. Cycling roads teeming with Pokemon trainers, too. Oh, you're an informative guy, aren't you? I worked up a good sweat riding. Let's feel great. I'm feeling great. Let's battle. Okay. Man, all these cyclists are really enthusiastic. Uh, cyclist Megan. Shinx. Alright, this is a little better. 
Brass resists electric after all. Go Flora. Intimidate won't do all too much by itself. Let's go for growth. Alright. Spark. Critical. No paralysis. Good. We're gonna go for absorb. Let's get that health back. Looky there, we're faster. Must be the level discrepancy. Spark again. Oh, she got that poison point. And let's go for another absorb. Floor is back up to full. Dango Shanks. We beat Cyclist Megan. Ooh, you worked us over. Well, I mean, I, I did just beat Gardenia. Do you find yourself pedaling backward while going downhill? I literally just did that. Let's see, more trainers. Hey, watch where you're going, or did you want to challenge me? You know what? Assume what you want to assume. We're doing this. Alright, Cyclist James. James sends Ponyta. Oh. Okay, I see where this is heading. Come on, Emilio. Whip. Alright, go for Bubble Beam. Let's end this quick. Growl. And down goes Ponyta. Alright, Magnum's 23. Misha's at 13. Headbutt. Well, we forget. Uh, we'll get rid of... Growl. She forgets Growl, gets Headbutt instead. We defeated Cyclist James. I suppose so. I might try racing through cycling road in one long shot. Hey, just let it just let it go. Let's, let's do it. You and I were both riding bikes. And you've got Pokemon. I don't want to lose to you. Well that's the game. Either win or lose. Or tie. That'd be tough though. Cyclist Nicole. Starly? Oh, what's with all these flying types? Cyclists. Then again, you're probably using what's around the area. Um. Yeah, I'm not staying in, even if we have level advantage. Um. Emilio. Alright. Uh, we'll go for Bubble Beam. Okay, quick attack. That's priority. That's how that move works. Starly goes down. Alright, floor is level 24. Awesome. Ponyta, we'll keep in. It's Amelia's turn to get some. Get some, he will. Bubble Beam, once more. And Ponyta goes down. We beat Nicole. 
Oh, jeez. I seem to have fallen off my bike. Well, careful there. Instead of a battle, I should have challenged you to a bike race. Yeah, you might have won. I'm still getting used to the bike, after all. Your bike is the type that can shift gears, huh? Let me see if you know how to ride it properly. What does battling have to do with biking? I guess they're both competitive? Cyclist John. Alright, John, what you got? Starly. Aw, oh, dang. Should have switched Flora out. That's fine, though. She can get a little more. Or our boy Emilio. Bubble beam, please. Alright, that's Starly down. Staravia. Keep in. Alright. Intimidate. Our physical attack goes down a stage. It's manageable. Quick attack. Come on, Emilio. Bubble beam. And down it goes. Level 25. Oh, Misha grew too. And Cyclist John is beaten. I crashed. I mean, I'll reimburse you. I got Poke to spare. Put Star Raider up. Emilio can stay and everything else can stay. Actually, let's patch up Emilio. We have regular potions still, so... The bicycle can only take you as far as your energy will allow. I suppose if you're tired, you can't really pedal anymore. Cyclist Ryan. Zubat. Alright. Star Raider, you have this. Intimidate. Oh, Inner Focus. I thought Inner Focus only kept you from flinching. If it, if it prevents your stat reduction, then that's, that's quite the update. And we defeated Ryan. Gasp. Well, it's not that surprising. My Pokemon's out of gas, so am I. Hey, man. I'm gonna head home soon. Well, good. Everyone needs to recharge the batteries. Whether there's people or Pokemon. Or other entities. Some people compete over speed and some compete over technique. Which kind are you? I... Honestly, I'm not too competitive. If I had to pick an area, I'm a generalist. Rachel. Cyclist Rachel sends a... a Shinx. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to... Faint it quick. Before it gets out an electrical move. Hope it intimidated us. That might be... Okay. This will need some doing. Quick attack. And Leer. Okay, good. I was concerned we were going to see a Thundershock or a Spark attack there. And we're good. Now go Shinx. Another Shinx. Oh, we're switching this time. Let's put Magnum out. Be good to have him on par with the others, level-wise. Intimidate. It's all well and good. Let's go with the Flame Wheel. Goes for Bite. And we'll go for Ember. And Shinx faints. 
That's our win. We beat Rachel. You're a speedy technician. Well, thank you for saying so. I enjoy the scenery. Ah, uh, Sinnoh's really beautiful. Don't you think the area below Cycling Road looks nice? Oh, it is. See a bridge, a clear stream, some trees. Alright, so you're the last trainer on Cycling Road. I love my bike, but I'm not very good at fixing flat tires. Oh man, what you gotta learn? Oh, cyclist Kayla. Okay. Pikachu. Hey, look, it's the female Pikachu. I like that they went with the heart a tail pattern. Gender differences on Pokemon are pretty common to spot if you're familiar with the species. Like, I love how the female Wobbuffet has, is um, decked out with makeup. It's wearing lipstick. Oh, storage is paralyzed. Quick attack? Pikachu is quick attack. Now uh, we got quick attack. There we are. Okay. Star Raiders 25. And we beat Kayla. Total wipeout. Oh, well, that's the feat for you. I admire people who understand gadgets. I'm clueless about how my Pokecatch works. I want to talk to someone about that. Okay, use a Paralyzed Heal on Starator. Fix him right up. Alright, now the Starator's 25. We can put Flora up. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I think we can dismount from the bike. Okay. You have a gas great bike, so I'd like to give you these great stickers. Oh! Three Sky Stickers. Thank you. Go through Mount Coronet from here and you can get to Hearthome City. That's where they hold super contest shows. You should try de decorating your ball capsules with stickers if you want your Pokemon to be named the star of the show. Hmm. Learn how to shift gears, you'll be able to ride anywhere. Okay. Let's get these raspberries. I'm sure the berries will come into handy. Especially when I get my hands on some citrus berries. Oh. Hey, it's Dawn once more. Hi, Navy. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Navy, choose what hand you want. Oh, uh, left or right? I'm going right. I'm alrighty. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. Oh boy. I'm impressed, Navy. You know what's important. Why, thanks, Dawn. Oh, wow, Nike rematch trainers. Using that versus seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Navy, do you also have a poke etch? Yep, you do. You can have this, too, then. You deserve it for all your hard work, Navy. Oh, wow, the dowsing machine app. It's like the item finder. Installed the app on the poke etch. The dowsing machine app can locate unseeable items. The dowsing machine is something you should touch often. It will tell you if there is an item on the ground that you can't see. It will be especially useful inside dark caves. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokedexes. Professor Roan is counting on us. Will do, Don. Such a nice girl. Alright. Orange berries. Let's pick let's pick these all up. We'll get to planting some eventually. Just want to have a nicer selection before I start doing that. Bulk berries. And orange berries. Okay, yeah, this this works. Trainer tips. Pokemon may become immobilized if they are asleep or paralyzed. Noted. If this if it happens to your Pokemon, it could be disastrous. If your opponent's Pokemon can't move, it's a big opportunity. Yep, that's status conditions for you. Oh, we're in for a double battle. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best, too. 
You picnickers, go do it. My Pokemon will work hard too. But did she literally said the same thing? Okay. Pick Camper Anthony and Picnicker Lauren. Okay, so I guess campers are the male picnickers. They seem like a similar trainer class, anyways. We'll use Grass Knot on Pachirizu. And Bubble Beam on the Ponyta. Quick Claw doesn't outspeed Quick Attack. It comes right after. Oh no, Flora. Alright, Ponyta's faster, but at least no burn. Oh, Poison. Love abilities. Come on, Emilio. Ponyta's down. Misha's 15. Awesome. Okay, I will heal Flora with a super potion. Don't want to leave her injured for too long. And Emilio will use Bubble Beam. There we go. Right, Emilio, Bubble Beam. All right, Pachirizu hung in there. We'll use Absorb. And we'll go for Metal? No, we'll use Bubble Beam again. It's not broke. Spark. Thankfully, we are tanky. Oh, but that paralysis. And Bulb Beam hits. Petrizu's fainted. And we defeated Camper Anthony and Picnicker Lauren. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. Yeah. Oh. Level 15? Bidoof becomes Bibarel at 15? Oh, wow. I've never quite used a Bidoof before, so this is a, um... This is quite the development. Uh, hang on. Misha's evolving. I guess we'll let her. And Misha has become a b barrel. Neat. Hang on a sec. go B barrels data will be added to the Pokedex B barrel it makes its nest by damming streams with bark and mud it is known as an industrious worker it wants to learn water gun of course Misha's now part water type due to her evolution we'll get rid of defense no we'll get rid of tackle keep headbutt 
and water gun. Okay, then. Did not expect that. It's a vent that exchanges air from the Grand Underground. Of course, they have to keep that whole place ventilated, otherwise everyone would likely suffocate? Not a, not a very pretty thought. Let's go heal up at the Pokemon Center in Orberg. Oh look, we can cut back through. No, thank you. Want to dismount? Yes, there we go. Alright. Hello, yes. It's been a while, Orberg Nurse Joy. How are you? Thank you so much. Now, back to business. Alright, we beat these two. Uh, there's a... Appears to be a hiker. Who's up front? I can agree with this. Laura. I just got through Mount Coronet, but we've still got fuel in the tank. Good to hear. Alright. Challenged by Hiker Justin. Has a Geodude. We can handle that. Got this, Flora. Absorb. Super effective. A Bronzor. That's a Steel Psychic type, if I recall correctly. Um, yeah, I think Magnum has this. Come on, Magnum. We'll go for Flame Wheel. Super effective. Gyro Ball. Not too much. And we'll cap it off with an Ember. There we go. Bronzor is down. Magnum reaches 24. Wants to learn Scary Face. Hmm. We have Smoke Screen. Uh, he's pretty fast, all things considered. I'll key, I'll not learn it. Misha 16. And we beat Hiker Justin. Whoops, didn't take much to beat us. No, not too much, but that's what it is. Said it. We need to rest up in Orberg City before heading to Mount Cornet again. Hey, sound plan, my guy. That's what I did. Okay, let's turn on a repel. I don't want to needlessly bump into Pokemon if I'm not actively trying to catch them. Of course, why repel exists. Although that does beg the question, who in the heck invented repels? And how do they work on all Pokemon? Food for thought. Hey! According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. Oh my god, that's depressing as heck. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Well hey, that's a bit much. Okay, nice meeting you too. Eesh. That guy needs a dose of optimism. And of course, I would be remiss if I did not point out the fact that he had the galactic emblem on his person, which means he is affiliated with them in some way. Let's make our way out. Route 208. 
Uh, yeah, let's keep Flora out front. Gah ha ha. Ha, ah, you're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? Well, hey, stature doesn't matter in the world of Pokemon. You were challenged by Hiker Robert? Sense of Geodude. And we got Badoo. Oh, that's it, Flora. Quick claw. It's super effective. She's now 25. She's look at her moving up in the world. Another Geodude. Send Amelia out there this time. Go for Bubble Beam. And defeated Rahiker Robert. I'm a grown-up, but I got served by some little kid. Well, this little kid did beat you now, didn't he? Hope you won't judge future trainers like that. Wow, you're sure impressive. I guess it makes no difference if you're young or old in Pokemon battles. That's what I've been trying to say. There's hope. Another repel? Not right now. This karate man will pulverize you. Challenged by Black Belt Kyle. Black Belt Kyle sends a Machop. Okay, Melio, you have this. Go for Metal Claw. Revenge. It's a good thing we're not in Polion yet. Being part steel type would be bad for fighting moves. We'll use Pluck. And down goes Machop. Alright, defeated Black Belt Kyle. I still lack power. Well, training is how you get stronger, so you're Black Belt, you know this. Alright then. I think this is a good, good stopping point. Save up. And alright. Uh, so, picking up. I will continue to head over to Hearth Home come the next part. Uh, my release in a day or two. You know, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, to all my uh, viewers and YouTubers, please like, share, and subscribe my videos. It really helps the channel out. Navy Blue Suicune, signing off.